Michael, you know you always have to start a podcast with a beverage that is filled with yummy elixir of the gods known as the White Claw. You think White Claw might be racist? Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, what do black I, claws look like. I don't. Well, they, I mean, well, actually, no. I take that back. They do have black claws. They're called Old, old English uh, Forty. <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> or Steel Reserve or uh Steel Reserve. Um Do they make Red Dog anymore? That's a good the question. I, I have no idea. That's a really good question right there. I've had mm. plenty of old English in my time. I've I don't think I've ever had any other kind of malt liquor. I enjoy the beverage known as old English. <clears throat> the old forties. That's the only That's... time I've done Edward Forty Hands. You know, it's funny. I've I've had 40s before, but never malt liquor. Mm. It's always been with uh, beer. Um, and obviously, you can't give 40s in Florida for the people who are watching this. They're like, we like They're 32. Fort- really? We like Fortnite. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, I mean, how I did it with 40 hands. Yeah, I, I yeah, it was two forties and I think my beer of choice. Well, it wasn't my beer of choice. It was my beer of I had no choice. It was just this is what they had. The beer of convenience. The beer of convenience. thank you. And it was Miller High Life. Not a bad beer. Those aren't that bad. That's what my dad drinks. Yeah. I don't know. I can see your dad being like a Budweiser guy. I'm actually a Budweiser guy. Hey. Besides Yingling. I am too whenever my beer of choice. I am too when I when I don't feel fat. Yeah. 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 Cause every, every, whenever I feel like every time I eat a eat a <laughs> drink a Budweiser, I feel like I literally just ate an entire pizza. Cause when I bread. eat a beer. When I'm eating a beer. When I'm eating a beer. Do you um do you still drink? Oh yeah, because I know you uh you've been drunk on the podcast several times. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, clearly your new fucking doc, Dr. Jesus job. Yeah. Dr. I'd, be, Jesus. I, I'd be drinking a whole lot more. Yeah. Um, I most of the time when I drink, I'll drink hard liquor. Like yeah, there you go. Whiskey. Like I'm a whiskey Jack guy Daniels. As well. You whiskey know, it's, you know it's really funny. I, I I'll I'll talk with like whiskey elitists and they'll say oh, yeah. those and they'll be like Oh fucking Jack Daniels! It's like the Coca Cola of whiskey, and I'm like, but it's good though. No, so it's good. Is that I, I I love I I would rather fucking drink Jack Daniels than like Fireball. <laughs> don't, give, don't don't give me started on Fireball. Fireball tastes good and everything. I just don't like the fact that it has fucking antifreeze in it. Ooh, yes. No. Um. Did I ever tell you the time when I had 18 shots of Fireball in a night? No. Yeah, we were plus playing uh yeah like some kind of like beer pong game. There was no beer; it was fireball and it was liquor pong. Yeah, yeah, you can say liquor pong. Yeah, whatever. It was like shots, yeah, and little cups. Michael, let me tell you what happened. Do you want to know what happened? Blackout drunk. Yes, absolutely. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, no, on top of that, I also you know like chugged a fuck ton of beer, like this is a lot of shotgunning with my buddies. And I, then I had like four more shots of tequila. I remember yeah, wrestling one of my best buddies. He was he uh, was he was dead sober because he was still like, oh God, I can't I can't remember exactly, but he must have been driving us. Uh, he's actually uh, Jan, the guy you've probably seen in a lot of my uh, Snapchat oh, yeah. stories. Yeah, he's he's my one of my best buddies. Yeah, he was like a kid when that happened. Hang on, hold him. He holds Jan. What is he fucking? Yeah, he was only like fucking a senior in high school. He was like eighteen years uh-huh. old, and 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 we and we were I was at my at some someone's house, and he came along with us because yeah, he, I mean, me and his brother are good friends, and I'm like, fuck you, Jan, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrestle you, but little, you. he was still my size back yeah. in the, yeah. I mean, this is like what I can't. This is a long time ago, like nine years ago, eight years ago. Good times, man. Good, good times. times. Getting blackout drunk is always fun. I haven't seen. I haven't been blacked out drunk in, in a good in a in a couple years though. Um, yeah. Funny enough though, at my last show on Saturday, uh, yeah, I did. I did a guest spot at Snappers again, and the headliner there, she was like, "You a drinker?" 
And I said, yeah, I like to get a little buzz on before I go on stage. And she's like, thank God. I'm, I'm so sick and tired of these fucking these new young comics who straight are against edge, drink. Mm-hmm. Not straight edge. They just don't drink. And I'm like, well, I don't know. It's kind of like what Artie Lang said years ago. If a fucking comedian in his 20s eats gluten, they go to fucking rehab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Please. but I try not to get like too drunk. I'll have like yeah, a claw or two. Problematic. A claw or two or like you know a couple beers. But I made that mistake when I when I did a sh- I did a shot on stage and that totally fucked my equilibrium up. I mean, I wasn't even drunk. I, I was just like, cheers everybody. Oh shit, whoops. And then I I literally I, I said the punchline before the fucking joke. <laughs> like like who does that? That's how about those gays, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been inside both my mom and my girlfriend. Oh fuck. That's... Got you. <laughs> how about them gays? <laughs> oh man, so it's going That's actually, on. Actually, that, that would be the start oh. of a joke. Yeah, yeah that would a, be the start. That'd be the start of a joke. Or that, that... joke. Like, so how yeah, about them gays, it. huh? Fucking, they, they like They got the fucking stinky breath from licking each other's asses. They shit come out of their ass. It's uh... <laughs> and then Jerry Seinfeld will say, "Now what's the deal with gays? <laughs> now what's the deal with gay people?" <laughs> that, that was a good Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> No. Oh, <laughs> I probably sent you my the the classic Seinfeld shit posting me before. You you that... just you sent me one like an hour ago, <laughs> like when I was I was on the shitter at my job and I'll I'll, I'll get I was getting ready to leave and I'm like ah yes there you go. This is from the golden days of Seinfeld shit posting. <laughs> like, uh, so what's the deal with black people? They're oh not god. black. They're not people. Oh my god. <laughs> Rem- remember where this is going, Michael. I I I'll, I. I... I'll we'll keep you on this one right there. That was, that was pretty funny though, but Jesus Christ. We believe in comedy, everybody. Just yes. just FYI. You know, we don't mean any harm. Mike may be more than me, but I'm just kidding. I do mean harm. He does. I mean you very much harm. <laughs> like, who hurt you? Yeah. Dude, speaking of that. You gotta go I... beat up a fag and be like seven oh, o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, okay, yeah. So when I was at Amero Life, just like a like little over a month ago, before I before I found this new job, yeah. there's just there's just one dude that worked there who was like a muscular guy, you know, handsome guy, young young guy, like in his early twenties, um, always talking about like you know, chicks. I mean, us being the incels we were when we were younger. Yeah. We oh, didn't. Yeah. We really didn't have much. Compl- we had, we complained, but we didn't have that much of a thing to complain about because, we, you know, we got you know vagina here and there. Yeah. So we so we didn't have that you know, uh, stressful situation where a lot of these guys will be like, so yeah, I want to go and I fuck this chick and I have a problem. I I think I'm developing feelings for this other chick at the same time while I'm trying to fuck this mm-hmm. chick. I never had that problem ever, which is fucking awesome, yeah. you know. So, so, so he's going on and talking about the, you know, all these chicks. And, I, and finally I just, I turn them and I'm like, who hurt you? Who hurt you? What's who the- hurt you? And he's just like, what the fuck you talking about, bro? Like, you know, I'm just trying what to get some talk- fucking mass. And then I'm just like, I understand you're getting ass, man, but there's something, there's something going on inside that fucking, the, inside those, that little head of yours. What's that going insult- on? The, <laughs> the, the fucking, the, the giga Chad fucking head of yours. Uh, so I actually came to find out that he was engaged. Oh. And his and and the, the girl that he was about to marry broke up with him over text. Oh. Yeah. That, that happened. Never happened to me. Um <laughs> lo- luckily, well, okay. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. I guess like maybe like you know when there were times like way before I met Miranda when I was like still fucking getting a good feeling on tinder and whatnot oh yeah i would be like hey it's not working out i'm not having fun and they'd be like same let's do it let's just fucking call it a truce but luckily with me i've always always the one that initiated even when i would like talk to them in public i'll be like look you know it's yeah it's not you it's me (laughs) (laughs) it was totally you Uh, it, it was it was you yeah it was totally fucking you do you have any? You have any pretty nasty breakup stories? 
Not really. Oh, um, the girl I lost my virginity to. Oh, yes. I was waiting to have sex with her before I made her my girlfriend, and then I had sex with her and never made her my girlfriend. <laughs> She's like, eh, this isn't really going anywhere. So. Look, babe, a um, little not too pink down there, a little too red. It's too velvety for me. I was expecting more bubble gum, you know, instead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're, like a little, you're a little provided, too stinky. I'm sorry. Provided I wasn't. Oh, well, yeah. That, that was more oh, so. The what the fuck? This the smell was a big problem. Thing. Not going to lie. Oh, yeah. you. If you're going to be dealing with a stinky uh, vagina, that's going to be a real problem. You're not going to have a good time. You're not going to have a good If you French fry before you pizza, you're not going to have a good <laughs> If you... If you fuck before you date, you're not going to have a good time. Seriously, Jesus. Uh, well, I don't know. Katie fucked before we were a boyfriend or girlfriend. So that, that's, really... that's what I meant, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if you, I mean, if you don't fuck before you, uh, before yeah. you become boyfriend and girlfriend, you're not going to have a good time. No. No, no. no, no. Well, technically, since Miranda and I, you know, we're long distance for a number of years, um, I mean, <laughs> fucking family's probably gonna hear this or they're gonna be like no way yeah we uh hooked up in my mother's van but we didn't fuck or anything it was just it was just playing and uh playing around just we were just playing around yeah it was it was fun yeah i uh playing pocket pool well see this is back when i was in a band a, a band a long time ago so i always so i uh played bass and to turn her on, you know, she's such a big metal head. I was like, yeah, I'm playing some fucking bass on your pussy and stuff. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and she she loved that. And she still talks about that. And I'm like, can we like not talk about like my 22 year old, you know, douchebag self? That's I was trying to get in your <laughs> underpants. Like, please. Oh, God. I don't know. I, I say corny shit all the time, probably. Oh, yeah. I mean, like. Some some shit just gets some people off. I mean, well, women off, you know, if you fucking, I don't know, just, just sit, like, kind of like what Joey Diaz says, like, I'm going to fucking eat your ass until I taste your fucking liver. Like, you know, that, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that's, I'm sure women have fucking gone off on, from that right there, you know. What you smoking Ooh. there? Uh, Nicotine vape. You still on the nicotine, eh? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I'm not because I'm trying to get a better job, but uh, oh, that's right, yeah. Once I do, <laughs> I will be back on that weed. Trust me. Yes, sir. There you go. Um, uh, you f- find any leads yet with uh, other like clinics or hospitals? Um, I applied to Sarasota Memorial. I applied to like four different CNA spots. Mm. I'm going to apply to a head trauma place here <laughs> and uh, the doctor's hospital. Oh. It's crazy. So, I, thought, I thought all hospitals were doctors' hospitals, but that's uh, what I thought. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> so a head trauma. So you like you're gonna be with people that have they that fucked their head up, and you're like, what are you retarded? Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! When I started this job, I was gonna <laughs> they, they put me in <clears throat> memory care, which is where all the dementia, <laughs> Alzheimer's <laughs> people are. <laughs> I was just gonna like fill them with my racist thoughts. I was just thinking, I'm like, <laughs> you should have been like, so you know, Jim Crow is still going on, right? They'd be like, it is. Oh, oh great! <laughs> That's horrible. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, God. You know, there's this thing called the Holocaust, but it actually wasn't a thing. It was totally fake. It was a... Really? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Dude, speaking of that, what do you think of Ye and his fucking Kanye on Alex Jones? I need to uh, so moments that made me wish I was subscribing to Infowars. Like I was, paying, but if you can make Alex Jones uncomfortable on his own show, yeah, you're doing something interesting. Like I only I only watched a couple of clips when uh when when Kanye said yeah like you know he. You know, Hitler had some like something special to offer, and I'm like, 
Yeah. What? And then he sees redeeming qualities in everyone, Scott. Redeeming qualities in everyone. Yes. Yeah. It's like we gotta stop Nazis. We gotta we gotta stop dissing the Nazis. Yeah, and then he's even like, we gotta stop dissing, you know, the Antifa people too. And it's just like Man, I don't know. I, I think we should diss everybody who fucking, you know, wants to try to overthrow their own government. Then again, yeah. people will be like, well, then January 6th. Janu- Shut the fuck up about January 6th. It, it was just a couple know, of guys. Being, what? They're being by George Soros, though. So they're yeah. pretty much on. Yeah. Well, didn't fucking. The pocket of several politicians here. I mean, I'll be honest with you, man. Like, fucking Twitter right now is hilarious. I Everyone- believe it. Everyone there is just fucking crazy. Elon Musk is out of his fucking mind. It's great. I um, Lit. literally, yeah. I mean, like, it's great because, like, you know, both sides of, of like, you know, people just they're just going at it. And I love it. It's it's literally fucking watching just the world burn. Twitter used to be. So, tw- so Twitter used to be. Tw- Twitter's has always been like that. Well, Twitter was not as political though. It, Twitter was always kind of like a. It was kind of like a place where celebrities can get on there. And pretend that they're interacting with their audience, oh, yeah. but in reality, they don't give a fuck about their audience. So, <laughs> there you go. It was until it really it wasn't political at all, and then it just became all left when the peaceful protests were happening two and a half years ago. I think it all started because of Trump. I think, um, well, yeah, that too. Like, but... I, like I remember, like you know, when he was first talking about running, people kind of really didn't take him serious, and then out of nowhere. He runs, he wins, and then all, all of a sudden there's this fucking, you know, racist, like a Trump's a racist, like a Trump's a Nazi, he's a white supremacist, this and that and the other, and then I'm, yeah, and I'm like, wait, what? What's, what's, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, this is new, like, this is, this came about, like, when he just oh. fucking won, I mean, why didn't people talk about this when he was running in 2016? The only thing that really happened that, that came out that was, like, against him was grab, him, grab her by the pussy. And then obviously people saying like, oh, he's a businessman. You know, he he can't run a country. And I'm like, I mean, just fucking, I don't know, just give the motherfucker a chance. And then, I mean, people will deny it. Trump didn't do a bad job. I I, th- I don't think he just, I think he handled fucking COVID pretty, pretty bad. But then again, I mean, like, what what more could you fucking do? Yeah. Like, what, what more could you do with, with, with a pandemic? I mean, like, yeah, all you got to do is just fucking close down the borders and tell everyone to fucking stop breathing. Yeah. Which is what you should do. Exactly. But. I think I think everyone should have done it, except for us, of course. You know, we we could have cont- we could have continued the podcast going on forever and ever and ever. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, uh, let's go. Well, I don't know. Here in Florida, we were pretty unscathed. Well, because we had fucking Ron DeSantis protecting us, minus having to wear masks everywhere. Which you know, that's whatever. Yeah, uh, that was. Really there wasn't any mandates, but you know, obviously, private businesses. If they yeah, had, yeah. I mean, because I was with I was with Bruce at the time, and uh, yeah, we had to wear the masks in the stores, and then they wanted us to wear the masks in the warehouse where we kept all the product. And mind you, we kept all the product in a fucking twenty degree cooler. Yeah, wearing a mask, working in that cooler, fucking nothing's gonna live in twenty degrees. Hate to tell you. Uh, well. No, you're wrong, actually, because they just found that fucking virus in like Russia and in a oh, glacier. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah I think you're, I think you're thinking of um, you know viruses and other bacteria is not living past oh, like a yeah. hundred degrees. Oh that, yeah, that's, right. that's why we have fevers. When when we have fevers, mm-hmm. it fucking warms our body up to kill off the viruses. So why don't we just why why don't people with herpes just have constant fe- fevers so they can kill off the warts in their on their balls? Oh, there we go. I mean, I think it's a great idea, you know? They should have done that years ago. Fever pills? Fever pills. I mean, if you know the fever pill, that's ecstasy right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> have you, have you ta- or Molly, have you taken either or? I've done neither. I mean, well, ecstasy, ecstasy just makes you want to fuck. And when you're, when you're an incel and you take ecstasy, it's like the worst thing you could do because you want to fuck. Like, yourself. Because you you want to fuck, but you can't because no one wants to. With no. You. <laughs> but Molly, though, yeah, that's like, oh. um, yeah, like club drug. It's a... yeah, it's pretty much ecstasy. Pretty much I, ecstasy. I just fucking I remember I feel like I lost like ten pounds in water weight because I just sweat my balls off. Yep. 
Yeah, most of my drug experiences are very um, psychedelic, very weed, very Almond Brothers. There you go. As I've heard it put before. Almond so, Brothers. I like that. I, I did coke I, earlier this year, but that's. Uh, I, I've done shrooms a couple of times. Then Kulk. Kulk. Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin. I did Macaulay. <laughs> but no, yeah, I've done coke plenty of times before. Um, never done like meth, of course. Never done. No. Funny enough, I yeah, I've never done acid. Have you done acid or LSD? Yes, I've done it one time, and was, it was the best drug experience of my life. Really, acid? Yes. See, I always thought that'd be too scary for me. You got to be. It's like with anything else, you, any other drug that you take, you got to be in a comfortable environment. You got to be there, so you don't trip. Yeah, or you don't trip. Uh, like have a bad trip, I should say. I don't know, man. When I when I when I heard Joey Diaz fucking was on acid when his, when he when he found his mom dead, fuck, fuck. Yeah, that's that's uh that's horrible. Like I'm at, like imagine like you're tripping your your fucking parents' death, and they're actually dead. Yeah, Jesus Christ. When you stop tripping, they're still dead. Yeah, exactly. Like you know, you're like fuck. I need some milk, and then and you're <laughs> like, and then like, damn, my hallucinations came true. Fuck. Did um, I get it wrong? Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, have you ever done DMT? Did DMT or uh or yeah, DMT? <laughs> no, Joe Rogan, I haven't. I know, I'm sorry. I I, I I had to ask. I'm sorry. I'm I don't want to be Joe Rogan. Nah, it's uh You know, you know what's funny about Joe Rogan? I don't think he's that great at stand up. I don't either. I mean, he's funny. Like he's got, he's got, yeah. he's got energy. You know, he screams into the mic. He's like, he's like Bill Burr, but not as funny. Yeah. Bill Burr is hilarious. I like Joe Rogan best in the context of a show. And when he's, I, like Joe Rog- I, I mean, I'm sure Joe Rogan as a person seems pretty cool. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, like who knows what he's like off screen. I mean, I'm sure he's pretty down to earth. I mean, I've met, I mean, I know a lot of my friends who are comics that have met Joe Rogan before. He, they said he's really nice. Uh, I believe it. So, I mean, I just, I mean, yeah. I was watching like his old shit, and I'm because it was like the bimbo joke, and I'm like, that's kind of hacky right there, Joe. Uh, He's a handsome guy, you know. Yeah, I, I know he definitely got on news radio for his looks and and for his like dumb comedy. So they made him like the dumb, the dumb, good looking guy on news radio with Andy his, Dick. His years of kickboxing. Was, uh... Hey, he's a good. Hey, he's a fucking good, great fighter as well too. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Joe Rogan could easily whoop both of our asses at the same time if we fucking went after him easily and he's like 55 years old yeah drink fucking cheers oh, i saw shane gillis is coming to tampa oh damn you like shane gillis he's funny i got into him actually i know he's part of that up-and-coming guys that are mm-hmm. on the show a lot yeah then... like mark norman and <laughs> him. Him. But Tony Hinchcliffe, Tim Dillon, like all, all those guys. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Shane, he's funny. Um, he's coming to, yeah, I think February, That's he's right. coming to Tampa at, at the theater. Tampa theater. Hey, yeah, you, you mumbled a little bit. What'd you say? Tampa theater. Tampa theater. Tampa theater. Uh, I really fucking hate this daylight saving shit. It's so dark. I kind of like it. You like it? I kind of like it, honestly. Why is that? Uh, It's dark a lot sooner. I like it when it's dark sooner whenever I'm not working. Yeah. But when, I, but when I'm like working or like getting off work and it's like getting ready to be dark, I'm like, man, there goes my day. But I'm also like, wait a minute. It's still like 530. <laughs> like, yeah. You got plenty of time, but I don't know. It just... When I when I see dark, it means it's nighttime. Well, no shit, Scott. But <laughs> that was a very no, that's a very dumb euphemism right there. What was that? Would that be considered a euphemism? I don't fucking know. I don't know, Michael. Euphemism? You you been this, what? <laughs> euphemism. Euphemism. Is that a star, Dave? Is that a star, David, around your neck? Uh no, that is a gold chain, sir. You should put a star David around the gold chain. That would be hilarious, but sacrilegious. So. <laughs> does it does it fucking pull on your chest hair at all when you have the chain around your? Because it looks like a big ass chain. 
Not really, thankfully. Uh, the only time it really pulls on my hair is when my cats, plural now, cats. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got two cats now. Yeah, they, like, even my cat that's eight, I've had her for eight years. She has, has never failed. Anytime I'm wearing a necklace or anything, she tries to. Oh, wait, so you have one cat, and then you got a you then you then you got a second one just recently. Yep. That's very he cute. I didn't realize. I didn't, I didn't realize. I didn't realize you had a second cat. Yeah. Or a, I first. I a, a first cat. My prior cat. Yes. What What's your first cat's name? Piccolo. Piccolo. Oh. Piccolo, does he does yeah. he fight Saiyans? No, she does not. She's oh, it's a, a oh, it's a girl. I didn't name her. My uh, younger siblings did when they were like ten. Piccolo, that, that that's masculine though for uh, in the fucking um, like Spanish language. They didn't. Um, they because I asked them if they did it from Dragon Ball Z, and none of them knew what the fuck Dragon Ball Z was. What are they? So, fuck? What are they weird? <laughs> they never Wait. got it. Wait a minute. I mean, like if, okay, if if your cat's eight years old, Dragon Ball Z's been out, been out for how long? Like twenty five plus years, yeah, at least. And Back before that, that's when it got dubbed in America. It was it came out in the late eighties in Japan. Hello, Miranda baby. Because I had no room, and I still had got Google Charge on my phone, so I threw it over there. I was gonna plug it back in. Uh well I didn't realize you're gonna notice it. <laughs> Fucking women, they, they they notice everything, Mike. <laughs> oh yes. I love putting stuff out of place and then just figuring it out later. You know, the, the, does Katie get it on your ass like that? The, the do you put no. stuff out of place and then and then she's just like, God damn it, put it back. The opposite for me. Oh, she's the one that puts stuff out of place and yeah. then you get mad. This guy already. Yeah, that is me. <laughs> no, I already like you. <laughs> oh, thank. That's good. Well, that's funny, Miranda, because Mike does not like Asian people. <laughs> that's <laughs> Just... not true. You know that's not true, Scott. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I, I, I know that's not. I know that's not true. I, I remember your, your, your fucking, your South Korean fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those, all those fucking. Oh my god, what, what did you call? Oh. What would you call the oh, the what was it the Asian the appreciation, the Sherathon, Asian appreciation Sherathon, yes, the APAG Sherathon. I remember that. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was uh, your prime YouTube, uh, YouTube, Facebook shit post era, and I think you should go back to that. Oh God, yeah, that would that would go over real well. <laughs> Nowadays, that would go over real well. Why? Because what well, you got in laws on Facebook now and stuff. Uh, that's one of many reasons. Yes, <laughs> jobs and all that. Not even that. I know deep down you're like, man, I really got to make fun of this person on <laughs> like who is like posting about like their kids' love, trophy. I'd love to get on Facebook all the time again, Scott, but it's uh... uh. Why don't you make a face a fake Facebook account? And a burner sh- account, yeah, yeah a burner account. Just it just ships. That's those. too much to keep up with. <laughs> Not really. I mean, if if you have a burner <laughs> phone, <laughs> Facebooks, it's there's gonna be health pay. So, and it's, this uh, and hey, in this Facebook account, you can name it <laughs> Nosy Steinberg. <laughs> Nosy Steinberg. <laughs> Nosy Steinberg. One of my old friends from Ocala, that's his burner account, is John Shekelberg. John Shekelberg, that's a good one. Yeah. My um one of my one of my best buddies, he has a he has a burner account named Pussu Loin <laughs> Annoin. And then there's like another one, like one of his buddies controls. I think I think it's like I think his name's like LaFonda McFucka <laughs> shits or something like that. <laughs> LaFonda I don't know. I, I can't remember it. And my burner account would be Bobby Moynihan. Bobby one hand Bobby Moynihan oh Bobby Moynihan yo fucking mm, Mike this 10 minute thing fucking mm, I really really hate zoom so fucking much dude very Uh, much yeah I mean at least we got fucking 9 minutes and 47 seconds left to, to to I don't know 
agree to agree with Kanye West. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh yes. I'm stealing my position, Scott. I I dis disagree with Kanye West. I I disagree with Kanye West. No comment. (laughs) And Mike's like, well, you know, the Jews. Well, yeah, Hitler did do some good. Like he cleaned up the city of Berlin, which was a cesspool for uh you know, underage sex trade and was it really? Yes, them taking young orphan boys and making them become Nazis, making the male prostitutes. Wait, Hitler did that? No, he cleaned that up. He got rid of it. What did he do with it? He killed them all. All the people running it I, in prison. And what did, them. Where did he put them? <laughs> well, they had these things called camps. <laughs> oh man. Didn't I know a lot of people like didn't fucking what the hell the mayor of fucking New York was it Giuliani the one who like really cleaned up New York back in like the eighties or the nineties or something like yeah. that yeah according apparently according to my buddy who's from New York he said New York is gonna start paying people one hundred and seventy thousand dollars like as a salary to kill the rats oh. I'm I'm like, dude, I might fucking move up to New York. That's yeah. <laughs> then I get $170,000 in New York City. That's like baby like, shit. Oh, you're here. Yeah, exactly. I, I think that's like fucking getting paid what like 20 bucks and 20 bucks an hour in Florida. You could still <laughs> live barely. The $170,000 a year in fucking New York City. I mean, all the taxes getting taken out. Eh, no, you, you can't okay. fucking live. I mean, you could live if you had like a bunch of people living with you, you know. You can but, live in a studio apartment that costs you, you know, four grand a month. And uh, oh, exactly. No, dude. Like I know, I know a lot of people that live in New York City, and they still have time to like go fuck around and like you know go to comedy clubs, go fucking you know, yeah, bar hop and whatnot. And I'm like, dude, like how how the fuck do you manage yeah, to do that? Like I not like, eating. They're just like, seriously. I'm like I'm like, dude. Like like what are you doing? Like tell me your fucking secret. So so that way I'm like I can figure out down here. I'm like, what do you like? What Implement you the same strategy down here. Exactly. So that way I can work less and make more. God damn it. God damn it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, I don't know. It's I, I mean they they're not like and they're not even like what they would call influencers or anything. You know, they're just uh, they're just people that fucking do shit. You know, I fucking hate influencers. Don't you? <laughs> Shit like OnlyFans, you know? Yeah. Like that. A premium yeah. Sound. So videos of them jacking off. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I got too much pride for that. I And plus, no, I, I don't know. I really don't want people watching me fuck. I have like an issue. I have like a problem yeah. with like being, you know, on cam. I mean, I don't mind being on camera at all, clearly. I mean, I kind of do it for if I can. Yeah. yeah. But what I'm saying is like, candidly, like I don't want people filming me and then filming my big fucking ass just <laughs> fucking pounding into Miranda and watching my balls just go flop flop flop. I don't want that. I don't watching want to my paint. Yeah. Exactly. You know, like I, don't, like I don't mind like making videos for myself. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's I'm not gonna fucking put it on the internet. What are you out of your that's mind? Weird. Like like dude like. Like you, you, you go, you go try to get a four, Fortune five hundred fucking job somewhere, and then all of a sudden they're like, "Oh, Scott, yeah, we just found your uh, your dick and balls on uh, on social media. Yeah. You know, you got something to explain right there. Yeah, you get, got a little birthmark on the underside of your cock. You know what's going on there? Uh, it's not a birthmark. Well, it's I. Uh, listen, I was young. I got it burnt. I I, I fucking stuck my dick in a toaster. I was a little, I was young. I was horny. I. You know, no the girl toaster. wanted to touch me. Whereas the toaster can't say no. Yes, absolutely. That was my whole thing against porn a couple of years ago. Was like I realized it was weird because you're watching two strangers have sex. Yeah. Okay, this might sound weird. If you watch a, like, would it be weird if you're watching a trans woman with a dick fucking a? a biological woman with a pussy would that be weird or would that be kind of like cool like if the if the trans person looked like a woman but had a dong 
and then was fucking you know the girl that looked obviously was a fucking real girl like would, would that be like hot or yeah that's still weird you think it's, it's weird? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's nothing hot about trans. I gotta... <laughs> so I had to hide my boner for a second. <laughs> hey, right as Miranda's walking by, she was just like, wait, what? Burn mark or well, I said birthmark, but I said I, it's a burn mark. I stuck my wiener in a toaster. <laughs> I can, we can verify. I did find a birthmark, actually. I never noticed. I I I, tr- I trim the underside of my of, of my nuts and, and, and like where like it all meets and I'm like oh I have a fucking birth I I just haven't seen it because I I got so much I have bush the right side of my groin which I discovered in recent months you did yeah wait what, what was it it's like a mole oh shit like a very small mole I don't I don't know if it's a mole or if it's just a really big freckle that's been there forever but I've never noticed it before can you show me no <laughs> <laughs> sneak peek. You're like, yeah, hold on one second. This will be on our Patreon page where people have to fucking pay premium. <laughs> I got to fucking, I, I got to figure that out. Like Patreon, it, it seems really fucking hard because it's people just giving you money. Yeah. You fucking make, make content and shit. God, I don't know. I got to, I got to figure that out, Mike. It's hard. Really hard. Gotta get Patreon, got to get into uh, only the only fans. premium hey. stuff. Yeah, it's... premium Snapchat. I don't understand premium Snapchats. What is it? Just it's like a regular Snapchat, but you're just paying you people just money. Pay people. It's mostly fucking. I can never porn pay... stars and shit like that. Be it same chicks who do OnlyFans do premium Snapchats. I can never do. I can never pay for shit like that. And I'm not just saying because I'm fuck. I'm I'm taken. But even if I was single, I would never pay for anyone's OnlyFans I'd... or premium Snapchat. Google is free. Yeah, yeah Google's free. Google is free. Literally Google... the same. Pictures that you're paying for are online free. Exactly. I'm hungry. <laughs> but no, you are 100% correct. Yeah, like everything is for free on Google. Just type it in. If you want to see Mia Khalifa's butthole, just type in Mia Khalifa's butthole and it'll pop up. Did you really? Oh, there's a, the Paul Tuttle Sr. and Paul Tuttle Jr., the argument meme where he throws no. the chair or whatever. Oh, I like, talk, talking about the fucking uh, the one from yeah. uh yeah 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 I can't remember the like, show but yeah what, what was it yeah West Coast Choppers or something oh yeah West yeah so America Chopper America Chopper America yeah the uh, what's it called <laughs> Paul Tuttle Senior was like did you really hit that bitch's PayPal account <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted some asshole pics <laughs> it's like bro Google is free <laughs> that's a classic right there. Anyway, well, we're running out of time. Fucking Zoom. They're like, you got to pay premium. And I'm like, well, then again, if I get premium Zoom, we can we can stream this. But then again, I'm, I'm kind of afraid to stream. Because <laughs> we, we, we make fun of a lot of people. Uh, quite a few. Quite a few. Yeah. So we'll... I don't think there's anyone who's really safe. No, no one. No one's safe with on cheat time. Yeah, I um, I changed. I changed. Yeah. If, for people who didn't know, the original name of the podcast used to be called Laughs with Lapachu. Now it's Chi Time. Did I give you an explanation why I changed Lapachu? Yeah, you did. I was so sick and tired of people getting my name fucking wrong. So I was just like, all right, yeah. I don't want my real name, so I might as well just fucking shorten it. Scotty Chi. Perfect. There you go. Fucking there we go. There we go. All right, man. Got like less than a minute. Any, right, any, any last words till we meet next time? Um, we gotta stop dissing the Nazis. We gotta, we gotta... <laughs> no comment. <laughs> right. The Nazis. All right, man. Good talking to you. I'll see you soon. GGS. GGS.